Hello grade 9, we will resume our explanation of the electrochemical cell also called the galvanic cell. So if you recall, we have two compartments, each containing a solution and a metal. The metal is called electrode, and the two electrodes, one of them is the anode and the other is the cathode. And electrons go from the anode to the cathode. The anode happens the oxidation. And in the cathode happens the oxidation. So in this particular example, we have zinc and copper. And if, if you remember, we have zinc. In a solution of zinc ions Zn2 plus and copper in a solution of Cu2 plus. But why zinc is the one that does the oxidation? Well, this is because zinc is more reactive than copper. So, in the exercise, it may be given, or you may be asked which one is more reactive, and the one who is oxidized, which is oxidized, that is losing electrons, is the more reactive. So in the zinc half cell, what happens is that zinc, the metal, will lose two electrons and become ions that end to plus, and so the metal will become thinner. And the opposite is happening in the copper half cell so the blue color fades why the blue colors is coming from this ions CO2 plus these ions will become the copper metal Cu and will deposit on the copper strip so CO2 plus plus two electrons will become Cu these two half reactions that happen in the half cells we can add them to find the overall cell reaction so our aim is to simplify the electrons at the end this is why they should have the same number if they don't have the same number as we have seen previously we need to multiply maybe one of the half reactions by a number of course the sum is a redox reaction and finally we need to know that Electrical energy is coming from this redox reaction So the chemical energy is transformed into Electric energy why because there is a potential difference between the two different elements copper and zinc in the specific example So if we have a voltmeter we can detect How many volts we have or we can replace it with the light bulb that will light. However, it will eventually go out in a matter of minutes. Okay, so let's go, go back. And see how we represent a cell, a galvanic cell. Because this is very important. We start with the reactive metal. Because this will be the anode. And we end with the le least reactive metal which is the cathode and next to each of them we write the corresponding ion and between we write bridge and if you remember the bridge contains an anion and a cation and the anion goes to the anode and the cation goes to the cathode we need to know that the direction of the electrons is from the anode to the cathode however if we want to um, find the direction of the current which is I in physics as we uh, know it in the electric circuits in physics so the direction of I will be the opposite of the direction of the currents of the electrons okay so even in physics the intensity goes from the positive to the negative of the generator while the electrons go from the negative 
side, the positive side, and here the negative side is the anode, and the positive is the cathode. Okay, so this is why electrons from the anode to the cathode and intensity in the opposite direction. Um, it's good to read and study these paragraphs on page 74 and 75. So in the salt bridge, we have what we call the agar gel. So it's not a liquid containing an electrolyte and a 2SO4. And we need to study its function to keep the electric neutrality in both half cells. Please study them well. And good luck.